Young Ailey readers, Uncle Jack and the Meerkats, Jane Cadwallader, copyright Ailey, 2011. Uncle Jack was reading a book in the garden. Jim and his sisters, Daisy and May, were playing with a ball. Grumpy the dog began to bark. He wanted to show them something. What's the matter, Grumpy? asked Daisy. Uncle Jack, Grumpy, Jim, Daisy and May looked into the next door garden. They saw two meerkats in a cage. They were baby meerkats and they were crying. Hmm, let's go and talk to Mr. Smith, said Uncle Jack. Uncle Jack and the children went to see Mr. Smith, who lived next door. Mr. Smith said sadly, I bought the meerkats in a pet shop, but they never stop crying. Perhaps they have a toothache or a stomachache, said Jim. No, said Uncle Jack. I don't think so. Meerkats have very strong family feelings. I think they are crying for their mothers and fathers. Oh, no, said Daisy and May. Jim pointed to the cage. Look, he said. Whitdry, Kalahari Desert, South Africa. It's their address. They come from the Kalahari Desert. Hmm, I think you're right, said Uncle Jack. He looked at Mr. Smith. Shall we take them home? He asked. Oh, yes, please, answered Mr. Smith. Yes! shouted the twins. The next day, Uncle Jack put the things in the hot air balloon. He put in some food and some blankets. It can be very cold in the desert at night. Jim went to get the meerkats, but they weren't there. We must go and look for them, said Daisy and May. Uncle Jack, Mr. Smith, Jim, the twins and Grumpy looked for the meerkats all over the town. Uncle Jack looked in the gym. Mr. Smith looked in the bank. Jim looked in the bus station. Daisy looked in the cafe. May looked in the cinema. But they couldn't find the meerkats. In the end, they found the meerkats outside the pet shop window. They were looking inside. Inside the pet shop were four more baby meerkats. They were all crying. Oh, look, said May. Maybe they are all brothers and sisters. I think you are right, said Uncle Jack. Please buy them, Uncle Jack, said Jim. Then we can take them all home to the Kalahari Desert. Uncle Jack bought the baby meerkats and the children carried them home. Now they were ready to go. Jim asked Uncle Jack, How can we find the family of the baby meerkats? Is the Kalahari Desert very big? Uncle Jack answered, Yes, it is. But I have an idea. Can you give me your MP3, please, Jim? What are you doing, Uncle Jack? Why are you recording the meerkats crying? Asked Jim. But Uncle Jack smiled and said, Wait and see. Grumpy was very, very grumpy. He barked loudly. The meerkats suddenly stopped crying and looked at Grumpy in surprise. Hey, well done, Grumpy. That's much better, said Jim. Uncle Jack's hot air balloon flew over forests and seas and mountains and rivers and jungles 
until it arrived at the Kalahari Desert. The baby meerkats were in the twins' school bag. They were very excited. They could see the desert below, and they knew they were nearly home. Uncle Jack wanted to put his idea into action. He said to Jim, Help me, please! Uncle Jack attached the MP3 to a loudspeaker and turned it on. What a noise! Suddenly, meerkats began to come out of holes all over the desert. There were a lot of meerkats. The baby meerkats ran to find their families. That was a good idea, Uncle Jack, shouted Jim. Look at all the meerkats! They're coming to find the babies! The baby meerkats brought their family to meet Uncle Jack and the children. They brought their father and mother and brother and sisters. They brought their grandmothers and grandfathers. They brought their aunts, uncles and cousins. Everyone was very happy. I'm not a squirrel or a cat. I'm certainly not a horrible rat. I'm a meerkat and I love to play in the desert all the long day. Flap your arms all around. Tap your feet on the ground. Come with me, be a meerkat and play in the desert all the long day. But it wasn't just the meerkats who heard the baby meerkats crying. Over the hills came some men in a lorry. The men had nets and cages. They wanted to catch the meerkats and take them to pet shops. The men began to catch the meerkats and put them into cages. Stop! Stop! Please! shouted May and Daisy. Stop! said Uncle Jack. Meerkats are wild animals. They aren't pets. They want to stay here in the Kalahari Desert, said Jim. But the men didn't listen. But it wasn't just the meerkats and the men who heard the baby meerkats crying. Over the hills came some lions. They were thinking, yummy, meerkats and men for supper. <laughs> Our favorite dinner. Uncle Jack and Jim opened the cages and the meerkats ran quickly to their holes. Daisy and May jumped into the balloon. Hurry up! The lions are coming! They shouted to Jim and Uncle Jack and the meerkats. Uncle Jack and Jim jumped into the balloon. The men were afraid. The lions were between them and their lorry. Please, let us jump into your balloon, one of the men said to Uncle Jack. OK, but promise not to catch meerkats again, said Uncle Jack. We promise, we promise, said all the men. The men jumped onto the balloon. Everyone was happy, except the lions, who didn't have men or meerkats for supper. Phew, thank you, Uncle Jack said the men. Don't forget your promise, said Uncle Jack. The lions went away and the men got into their lorry. It was time for Uncle Jack and the children to go home. They waved goodbye to the meerkats. Jim pointed to the lorry with the men. He started to laugh. <laughs>